I'm here to talk to you about something different with my tubes. So I've been talking about the tubes lately because I'm really, 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 really feeling them. So we've been doing a different kind of resistance training with them. I gave you a cardio workout, but today we're going to talk to you about stretching. Stretching is really very important to lengthen everything, relax the muscles. People ask all the time, when is it a good time to stretch? I'm not a big fan of stretching before. Um, and you can stretch after, but they actually do say that the best time to really stretch is at night. When you're completely relaxed, the day is over, you just finished eating, and now you're stretching your muscles, and you're about to not use them, and just go to bed. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. So I'm going to show you a couple leg, uh, glute, hamstring, all that stuff. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to lay down on the ground. So this is for all you people that do not have anybody to, or you don't want to have to rely on somebody else to stretch you. You go ahead, you got this, and you can pull on it and do your own kind of tension, all if you do have somebody, they might not know when to stop. Now you're in control. So we're going to lay down, grab our tube, and we're going to go into a hamstring. Most people have very tight hamstrings anyway. Um, so what you're going to do is wrap it around, grab it, and pull it up. Release it, relax it, pull it back in. So you want to do your stretches for a couple seconds, hold it, release it, and then pull it back in, almost like a set. When you're doing exercises, you do three, four, five, six sets around or whatever. You do the same thing with this. So you just pull back. So that's a hamstring one. Super, super, super simple. Okay. Now we're going to go right into a groin one. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab it and pull it around you here. And then straighten out your arm, and then open up. And you can even pull on it if you want to even more. So you really feel on the pull over here, okay? So you're just going to hold that, then release it, and then bring it back. Now you're going to go in the exact opposite direction to get glutes. So you're going to take it this way with that hand, the other hand, wrap it underneath your armpit, Bend the leg, straighten out the arm, and pull it in to feel it in the glute. And if you want to feel it even more, you straighten out that leg and pull it over. Oh. And then the lower you go, the more you'll even feel it in your lower back. Ooh, that feels super, super good. I didn't know where you were for a second. Oh. Okay, now we're going to go right into the quads. Wrap it around again, around that foot. Turn yourself around, lay on your side, and pull it up. Now, you'll feel this in the quad. Get your heel as close to the butt as possible. And then if you pull back even more by bringing the knee away from the other leg. So if you're here and you pull tight, pull, 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 you'll feel it in the quad. You want to pull out even more. You'll even feel it all the way up here, all the way up your hip flexor and all the way down. So a couple little stretches for you, lower body. I hope you guys like these. These are good for cardio, training, and stretching. So if you like this one, keep it light, great for stretching, um, and even good for other exercises. It all depends on what your level is. Click on the link below and get yourself this one. Always great to have. Super convenient. I told you about that in all the other videos. So, hope you like it. Click it. Get one. Put it in your sock drawer and use it every night when you're stretching.